I'm Chris Bright, and I'm a foodie, and I'm back with part two of the risotto, what to do with your leftovers. If you remember yesterday, we made a oyster mushroom risotto, and if you made that, damn, you're fast, because I just put that up last night. So, you got all this leftover risotto, even though it was delicious, I'm sure you made more, right? I told you to. Okay. And I also told you to reserve some of the oyster mushrooms. Now, you might say to yourself, boy, those things are a pain in the ass to cut with a knife. Use a pair of scissors. That's what I did. I cut the oyster mushrooms with scissors, put them into the cold, and this is important, cold risotto, and we're going to just amalgamate all that in. Just want to kind of mix that in. Oh, what are we making? <laughs> These are called arancini with prosciutto and provolone or fried rice balls. And boy, are they delicious. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to add, now I'm using about, I'd say I have about four, four and a half cups here. And the typical recipe calls for three cups, but hey, I want to make them as many of these as possible. And uh, I'm going to add two eggs. If you have three cups of leftover risotto, you want to use one egg. So I'm going to break my eggs, not in the bowl, because then you get eggshells like that. And that one has a double yolk. Look at that. <laughs> no little yolks, but interesting. Okay, big deal. Doesn't matter. Throw those in there. Let's mix this in. We want to stir this up good. And we want to amalgamate everything. Now, like I said, it's it's really important to get that risotto cold. Keep it in the refrigerator. You don't want to leave it out anyway because you won't want to eat it. Mix it up good. And now I have four ounces of prosciutto, uh, prosciutto de Parma, that I have minced. Okay, and I'm going to throw all of this in here. Never want to skimp on your prosciutto. This stuff is so good. Oh, boy. Might want to get some extra just to eat it while you're making these things, but hey, that's just me, huh? We're gonna mix this all up. Okay. Now, also, what I did was I went to the deli. And I got myself some provolone cheese, and I had them cut it in slabs. And they didn't really know what the hell I was using it for, so they cut them kind of thin, so I had them used like two slabs. So I cut these into chunks. And this is going to be the center of our arancinis. Okay, just want to mix this up really good. Okay, now this is where it gets kind of messy. And uh, I'm going to have to set up a few things. So well, let's come back in a minute, and I'll have everything set up for part two. These are not hard to make. There's about four steps, maybe five here, and you'll see. So come back in a few minutes, and I'll have everything set up and ready to go to get these things to our next step. Okay, so now I have the egg wash station flour, egg wash, and the breadcrumbs. I use Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. I'm sure you can find that. And I've also cut the provolone into chunks. And so we're gonna, this is the core of the rice balls. I'm gonna take a bunch of the risotto and I'm gonna bury a chunk into the risotto. This is where they get messy. Trust me, it's worth it. And I'm going to make myself a nice meatball ball. And into the flour it goes. I'm not going to bore you with doing all of these. I'm just going to do a few of these and then we'll break and I'll do the rest of them off camera. But over here into the egg wash. And then into the breadcrumbs. And 
Make sure you coat that with the breadcrumbs. Now I've got a couple of pans here that are lined with parchment paper so they don't get all messy. And boom, into that it goes. Okay, after I get done with all of these, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the refrigerator, cover them with a little uh, saran wrap, and leave them in there for at least a half an hour. You can leave them up to 24 hours. So come on back, and we'll go to the next step. But they'll be in the refrigerator for a half an hour. See you then. So um, our arancini has been in the fridge for 45 minutes. I like to make sure they're nice and set up. And we're taking them out. One thing I will tell you, if, if you make these, it's probably best to have a couple of uh, people working on these. You will have to wash your hands a lot with these. Um, I got through about two and then I had to wash my hands. Now I have oil that's been heating up in the pot. And so it's good and hot. We want to take these and place them, do one at a time. Why kill yourself here? And you want to make sure they're nice and golden brown. Let them sit there for about 30 seconds, a minute before you maybe give them a little turn. Make sure all the sides are nice and golden brown. And you also want to have a plate with some paper napkins here because you need it to drain after it comes out of here. All right, let's see. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna flip that. Once I flip that one, then we, I can go for the next one. Make sure you cook these till they're golden brown. Not burn, but you, you definitely don't want to undercook them. Remember, you have eggs inside, and that needs to cook. Okay, this one looks to be just about done. That's just about right. Let me go with the next one. So, if you have one of those spiders, one of those big ones, you can also use that. Um, I don't have one, so I have, I have the slotted spoon, which works fine. Okay, let's check that one. That one looks to be good. Pull that guy out in just a minute here. Make sure it's all done. Now, I'll be serving these with a the marinara. If you want, you can make your marinara a couple days ahead like I did the risotto. That way you have, you know, just reserve yourself. I don't know, you need maybe a cup or two for, um, I made 11 of these arancinis. So you need maybe, yeah, I would say two cups and you'll be good to go. All right. Here's to be done. This one needs a little more time. Let's go with the next one. Okay. So um, while I'm frying these off here, um, I'm just going to keep frying them off, and then we'll come back in a minute and we'll serve with the marinara and see how we did. And there you have it. Arancini with prosciutto and provolone. Oh boy, one of my favorite. Manja chin chin. Let's see how we did. Take some of this marinara. Pour a little on the 
plate next to it. Always really good. Let's dig in. In Brooklyn and on Long Island, you can find these with the prosciutto on it. Here in LA, they're kind of rare, but I have seen them. But I like making them myself, especially with delicious leftover risotto. Mm. One of my favorite things in the world. Arancini. I know you're going to try this one. Make sure that you get two or three people to help you. Because like I said, it does get a little bit sticky. It's kind of messy. And also, you got enough definitely for two or three people to enjoy. So that's what I do with leftover risotto. And I hope you enjoy this recipe as much as I do. And I hope you try it. Till next time, when I come back with some more fantastic recipes. I'll catch you then. I'm going to sit down and eat. Have a great fourth and have a great night.